This is sangre de tigre. Is this carne de tigre? And we're back with part two of sangre de tigre. We've shown you how to make micheladas. Mexican lollipop Mexican shots. Mexican lollipop shots. Now we're taking it to the next level. We're showing you how to use it with food. And what are we having today? Well, one of my favorite things to do with this, and we talk about a lot on our mix, is how you can use them as marinades or as add-ins for your different favorite things. One of my personal favorite things to do is to marinate carne asada with the either apio or the OG blend. This is sangre de tigre. Is this carne de tigre? <laughs> Not carne de tigre. I couldn't find a source for that, actually. So. We couldn't get carne de tigre, so we got What we're going with today is a skirt steak, or as my Argentine side is a thinly sliced entraña. There you go. That's what we're using. I like to cook. I like good food. I like spices. Don't, don't we all? Like to, I don't like to be for hours in the kitchen. I like easy. I like simple. So what I use Millennial is... Millennial Senora Hacks. <laughs> kosher salt on here. Freshly cracked black pepper. Black pepper, nice. And garlic. That's my suegra secret to cooking right here, <laughs> garlic. Garlic, very simple, very good, and very important, season both sides. Both sides, don't forget both sides. Are you taking notes, people? I hope you are, because I'm not. And then the easiest, you can do it, marinate in the dish. What I like to do is put it in um, a Ziploc bag. So I'm going to put this in the Ziploc bag. And I'm going to take my Apio blend. You just pour it in there? I just pour it in there. There's no measurements. Uh, no, <laughs> it's just you measure with your Senora heart. Senora Hex. <laughs> measure with your heart. <laughs> so just a good amount in there. I like to squeeze all the air out in here. And then you let that sit for? At least a couple of hours. I like to do overnight. So just enough to kind of work it all in there. I'll put it in the refrigerator and, you know, anytime I open the fridge, I see it in there, I'll turn it, kind of I never it thought to use michelada mix as a, a carne asada seasoning. I'm excited. Great. I want to try this. You'll see. I have one that I pre-made. I had it marinating since yesterday that my husband's going to take out to the back and he's going to grill that. So you'll get to taste that. Micheladas, carne asada. I'm moving in. <laughs> <laughs> So while my husband's out on the grill, grilling the carne asada, I'm going to show you how we, we kind of kick up our ceviche a bit using our Savage Red. Can I just try it mix. before? And I want to yeah. try it after. I have some chips here. So yeah. It looks so good. I'm like, I want to try it. I'm going to dip right in here. A ver, a ver. Mmm. That's good ceviche. I'm just gonna put some in this cup. And this is my normal, how I would make ceviche kind of recipe. Look at that, that's so, beautiful. Put some in here. And I just always, since I always have some around the house, I just um, have some close by and I keep in mind, this, this is, is the Savage Red. Ooh, so vegetable that's, base. That's the one I went perfect with the beer, by the way. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That was yes. one of my favorites. So I always keep in mind, you know, I have some nearby, you know, if I'm making chili, oh, I'm gonna try putting a bunch in the chili that I'm making, or I, you know, in the caldo even at the end, if you're making a caldo or something like that, you know, pozole, a little bit of menudo, put it in there. But you can actually just use it to kick it up. I would just add it a little bit at the end. Ooh. After you serve it. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit. And again, the beauty of this, you can add as much as you like or a little, as little as you, you want if you don't like too much spice or whatever. Um, and again, we use the Savage Red, but the OG would be good with this. The, you know, Sangre Pura would be good with this. And go ahead and give that I think you just, if you, you just gotta order all nine flavors. <laughs> order all the flavors, try it, see what you like, and go from there. So, can I dig it? Yes, please. And I think the only difference that I made maybe with my ceviche recipes, I might have put a little bit less salt, but otherwise it's my same ceviche like normal. Mmm. With a little bit of Savage Red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was good on its own, but with the Savage Red, oh man. 
This is good. I never would have thought to put michelada mix. Yeah. The Tiger Chef has brought us some carne asada marinated in some michelada blend. Some sangre de tigre michelada blend. The beauty of entraña, why I like to use it a little thinner on one side, a little more well done, a little thicker on the other side for a little bit less done. So I think we're gonna- I want the thick, juicy part. The thick, juicy part, ooh. so ooh. Are you getting these juices? Look at this. Oh my, look yeah. at that. And you can cook it to whatever doneness you like. This is that's, a little that's, medium. That's me right there. That's, yeah, that's, that's me. This is a little me. medium. Dig in. So this is carne asada with michelada blend marinade. The apio blend. I've never even thought to mix the two. Like I didn't. It works great. It smelled great. I could smell it from outside when it was grilling. Oh man. Right? Oh man. <laughs> that is really good. That is really good. Oh snap. I was gonna share with the Cofio TV team, but I don't think you guys get any of this. That is super good. <laughs> Oh, you gotta try this. You, you, gotta, you gotta try this. I'm not even like, like this is, holy smokes. You're onto something. You gotta try it, right? You gotta, you. I'm blown away. I'm, I, don't even, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> this is really good. You don't need salsa necessarily, oh, you know? Man. It's No, all, no, like, no, it's all there. It's you gotta try this, right? You gotta check it out. Yeah, I'll be just like this. Is you awesome. can, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Tell me that's not mind blowing, dude. Wow. <laughs> you got this really nice citrusy flavor. Yes. I feel like but we're like... TV is gonna do Taco Tuesday and enchiladas from now on. Yeah, no, this is. <laughs> you know? Holy smoke! Like I want to take this on a, a taco tour and just like show people like <laughs> this is amazing. This is next level. Next, yeah. le like I thought the the ceviche with the michelada mix that was super good. This though. This, <laughs> this yeah. right here, you gotta try it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. One of our favorites here for sure. Well, thank you Gabby for having us. This is amazing. This is next level stuff. And thank I you. love it. Thank you for thank having you. us in your kitchen. Oh, thank you. Really excited about our mixes. Really excited for you guys to be here and try it. So go check it out guys. If you go to their Instagram, they have a list of where to find this stuff. Uh, don't take my word for it. Go try it, and I'm telling you, you're gonna fall in love. This is, this is next level. Michelada mix with your carne asada and your ceviche. Thank you for joining us on the second episode of the Food Tour with Curtido TV. If you haven't seen the first episode of Sangre Tigre, highly recommend it. Go check it out. We show you how to use their michelada blends. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit those notifications. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see you on the next video. Let us know where you want us to go, by the way. The food tour, we're going everywhere. So if you have any comments or uh, recommendations, comment below. Thank you, gracias, I los miro.